Right, hey guys, it's Graham. So, as promised, um, I said I'd do um, a little video about this. The uh, Sterling Power, this is a battery to battery charger. Uh, it's the Pro Charge B. This is the uh, particular model I bought. This is a waterproof unit, hence the casing as you can see, and the back is all sealed. Uh, I can't actually show you that on the device because I've got it installed and it's screwed down, but um, there's like a black bit, uh, black plate on the back and it's all siliconed around, it's all sealed nice and tight. All these connections have grommets, these are all sealed. Uh, I'll show you that on the device when I film it in the back of the van, but I'm just showing you the box now to show you what I've bought. And um, you may notice here, suitable with AGMs, gel, open, sealed, lead acid, calcium, and lithium, life PO4. This will work with lithiums. Now, um, as, Mel's, uh, as Mel's World said, you can use a CTEC, um, which I did buy before I bought this, and it was a piece of junk. I found the quality was awful, really rubbish piece of kit, and it didn't even work properly. I may have just got a faulty device, but um, this is much better and much more reliable. And like I said, it is waterproof. Not that it really matters for in the back of a van, but it's just an extra level of security slash protection. And obviously it comes pre-wired as well. So if you're not really pre-wired and pre-fused, so if you're not really down for the whole um, wiring it up thing, um, you can do it yourself. Or it does come pre-done and you can just extend the cables if you need to. Um, and those are 40 amp fuses, I believe. I think they were. I'll show you that when I get outside and film in the van. Um, yeah, but one of the cables is only 1.5 meters, which isn't very long if you're doing a long wheelbase van conversion like I am. But yeah, um, let's see. I'll show you that as well. Pretty much the same, I think. Broad protection for all the automatic charging. It just says a load of stuff there. It does say waterproof on there, I noticed. Uh, it's got all the various blurb on there. Try and get it in the sun so you can see it. But yeah, um, I'll show you it in the van in a sec in the next clip. But yeah, uh, if you want to use lithium, these products from Sterling Power are the ones to buy and Sterling do also sell lithium batteries which I know uh, is where B and Theo from the Indie Projects got their batteries from um, even though they used Victron uh, charge controllers and stuff the actual batteries were from Sterling which makes this they're from Sterling Power so um, yeah I'll show you the um, actually, I just noticed there's another image there on the bottom that's a good image actually to explain it's anyways, no, oh there you go, blue motion, Mercedes-Benz blue motion, or blue efficiency, blue netic, yeah, blue netic, I think that's mine, blue netic to firm down, oh that says Volkswagen though, because I swore mine said blue tech on the back, anyway, whatever, apparently that's for Volkswagen, but mine's a Mercedes, who knows, whatevs, um, but yeah, this is good if you want to do lithiums, so I'll show you the device in the van. I'll clip I'll cut to the next clip. Alright, so here's the unit in the van. You have the uh, oh, there we go. The positive and negative and the positive and negative to I think that's the engine battery one and that's the um leisure battery one. So that is a cable for a remote, which I don't have. So as you can see, it's hooked up to the batteries, it's mounted there, screwed in those four screw holes, two at the top and two at the bottom. And yeah, that's where my wires go. Uh, let's see if I can show that. That right there is one of the fuses. Oh, one sec, I'll just swap hands. Oh, come that. Uh, there we go. Is one of the 40 amp fuses that comes with it. That's one on the other one. Oh, there it is. It's there. It's there. 
So it comes pre-fused, pre-wired. And let's see. Obviously it's not on now, but those two lights at the top. In fact, as you can see there, oh, they flash then. I think. Anyway, as you can see, the um, the different coloured lights that come on represent the different battery types that you have. Uh, can I see lithium is, is that yellow and black? It's hard to see on the camera. So if the left one comes up yellow and the right one comes up black, that means you've got lithium and it knows you've got lithium. So I think mine are like red and green or something. So I've got AGM and uh, a standard lead acid, so it has two different coloured lights on. But yeah, that's how it's hooked up. As you can see, the batteries are fully charged from the sun anyway. So it's like, it's back out of here, which is not an easy space to be in. You'll see the PV is actually... Uh, charging up my battery anyway so but yeah when you start it those two those two lights come on that are on the top to show that it's charging so that is how I've got it installed